Limes by Barrett Homes at Huntington in Cannock in Staffordshire. The house type we're here to see today is this house type, the Tetbury. It's a four bedroom detached house with its own garage. Now let's take a look at the detail on the Tetbury. You can see it's a very nice compact looking house. It's own, it looks like it's got its own little garage. You can see that lovely timber gable there. Look at the detailing on that. The porch work, etc. And under the bay there. What a fantastic looking house. I think we should go and take a look around. Hello. Welcome to the... Hello. Tetbury. Four bedrooms. I like this already. Look at the... Well, got hang a little... on. Hang on. I'm in the little porchway here. Yeah. It's Very nice. nice, isn't it? So this, this is your little entrance. This is a new, a new one for us for Barra, isn't it? Let's shut the door. I think it's cool. Thing. I love that banister, the stairs running out of the lounge. Ooh. God. So you've got the pushed out bay there. Yeah. Right. Let's have a look. Dimensions for the lounge. Five metres seven, almost six, by three metres two. And there's another window there. Ooh, snuck that in there. Yeah. What a big lounge. Yeah. Very, very nice, isn't it? So they've got two sofas. I like these. They're like a cool. So where would we see this house type? This sits in the small... So when we... You say you bought the Finchley, and now you want to move up to something a little bit bigger. Yeah. The Tetbury is just the job for yeah, it. this is the step up. I yeah. Think, isn't it? Oh, okay. Why? Hold on, Emma. Oh, okay. She just jumps ahead of me all the time. Yeah, so you make sure you give the viewers a good look around. Oh, yeah. So... This is your kitchen, dining. Lovely, isn't it? With this pushed out bit at the back. Yeah. Which is very nice. So dimensions for this room are five meters six by two meters five. So they've got a lovely dining area here. I mean, potentially you could have a little table and chairs yeah. in there. You could have a little sofa. There's so many different different uses. That's your cupboard under the stairs, which your ironing board does fit in. You've yeah. got sockets and various things. We've got another little door there, look. Oh yeah, well let's look at the kitchen first before we go in there. That will be the uh, the utility. Okay, so fully fitted kitchen. You've got your dishwasher, lots of cupboard space, cupboards above, gas hob, drawers. So your oven is here. So it's above waist height, plenty of cupboard space. Cocktail maker there, look, isn't that lovely? I like that. So your fridge freezer will be here on the end. Yeah, it is, with more cupboard space above and below. kitchen actually with the pink accents. It's lovely isn't it? So in here we have a separate utility with a downstairs toilet and your door to the back garden. Yeah you can't be boilers in there. Separate WC. Oh look at that wallpaper. Very nice little downstairs loo there, tucked away. Okay, so in this utility, you have got space for two appliances if you wanted with a cupboard in the middle. Yeah. Cupboard space, plenty of cupboard space above. There isn't a sink though. Okay. So what are your thoughts on them? We're on the stairs from the lounge. I like it. I do. Come I've actually on. owned a house in the past where I had stairs in the lounge and I like it. It's just different, I like it. Okay, so first floor landing then, so it kind of curves around. Yeah, it's clever, it? look at it. It does. So, we start on this side. It's a U-shape. That's bedroom two then at the front. So this, this bedroom is actually above the garage here. So it's bedroom two of four. So this is the window that's kind of shoved up, popped out a little bit with the bay, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's got a little tiny no, window. No, no, this is above the garage Yeah, here. but it's got a little bay window here, look, see? Yes, it, it protrudes from, yeah. the, from the front yeah. of the house. Yeah, that's it. If you just show the viewers, we've actually got a, 
an alcove there and we've seen them before where they've had doors on or they've had a TV in there haven't they there's many uses for that little little alcove fitted wardrobes there right dimensions for bedroom two are four meters two by three meters We've got a lovely set of wardrobes there and sort of smoked glass. At the back we've got bedroom three. So we've got a chalky board wall there. Oh look at the blind. Yeah. It's pencils. What a lovely bedroom. I like this very much. Bedroom three is three meters seven by two meters seven. Yeah, it's a nice room this. It's got a nice day bed. Again, fitted wardrobe. You I think you could fit a double bed in here. Do you? Yes. I think you could. I've noticed they've taken all the chalk away. Yeah, because I think someone got it on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Then you've got your main bathroom here. So it's kind of central to the landing, isn't it? As you come up the stairs, the bathroom's in front of you. Squeaky door. Very nice. Okay, bedroom four then, to my right. Dimensions are two meters eight by two meters two. So in actual fact, this is the smallest of the four bedrooms. I think you'd struggle to fit a double bed in here. It is, I would say it is a single room, wouldn't you? Yeah, but it's still there. I think Even it's with your windsail. It's got some built-in wardrobe there. Yeah. I like the water effect, um, Wallpaper. Wallpaper, yes, isn't that nice? And I like the wetsuit. Okay, and then finally, oh, there's a door there, yes. There's your cylinder. Okay, bedroom one. So this is back at the front of the house, your master bedroom, and it's got an ensuite. Dimensions for bedroom one are four metres one by just over the three metres. Very light, isn't it? Yeah. So they've got fitted wardrobes there, fitted Cut. wardrobes here, above the volume in the stairs here, so there's no, nothing there, but that is the stairs, isn't it? And then it's got uh, an ensuite. I'd say this is a double bed. I mean, they've got some big pieces of furniture either side of it. You could have slightly smaller pieces there for a bigger bed. And I would say that's the only place the bed could go. Do you think? Yeah, agreed, yeah. Yeah. Unless you don't have the fitted wardrobe. Yeah. So it's got an ensuite. Nice orange going on in here, look. Mm There we have it. By Barrett Homes. Yeah. Britain's premier house builder. Yeah. So let us know what you think. Are you buying a Barrett house? Are you looking at this house type in this development? Or Barrett I, in general? I think this let house. Let us is, know. I think personally this house is quite quirky. Which is a it's very nice house very, from yeah, the outside as it well. It is, isn't it? It's, you know, it looks very it's got some character with that uh, yeah. that porch. Yeah, you know. I mean, funny enough, I look at houses like they've got little personalities and I see faces. Mm. Um, and ha like every house has an individual face and I think this is quite a cute looking house. It is, definitely. Um, but if you want to know more about this house or more about the development it's on the limes, then why not just look in the description box below. Mm. Um, you better find all sorts of the price and everything, you know. It's there, we filled it out for you so you can have a look. Yeah. Uh, and we will be looking at the, the last house on this development shortly, so catch us on our next video. Thanks for watching.